Hey loves, it's your girl Leek, back with another Manicure Monday. Today we'll be doing a red and gold gel manicure. I'm also going to be doing a gel overlay in this manicure. Go ahead and scroll over to the bottom right, click my logo so you can subscribe. That way you don't miss a thing. If you've already subscribed, welcome back. I truly appreciate your support. Let's go ahead and get started with this manicure. All right, so I'm starting off with freshly prepped nails. I've already shaped the nails and removed the previous polish and got them to the desired shape that she prefers. Um, you do see a little pink on there, so that is a little bit of the previous overlay. I do file it down, but I do not always remove it completely. Right now I'm going in with a dehydrator. This removes the natural oils from the nail bed. You wanna apply this on the entire nail bed and that ensures that there is no unnatural oils and it will also ensure that the gel polish will adhere to the nail. I also use a Pro Bond that is acid free. I'm applying that now to the nail bed as well. And you do that for all of the nails. What this does is the same thing. One is a dehydrator, so it removes the oil. This one is a bond, so it'll make sure that gel polish manicure lasts longer. So now we're going in with a base coat. You want to do a thin layer, making sure that you cap the free edge, which is the tip of the nail. Make sure you get the side walls as well. You don't want to get any on the skin that can cause bacteria infections and allergic reactions. So if you accidentally get some on the skin before you cure it in the LED light, get an alcohol swab or some gel polish remover and get that off the skin. You guys have to excuse, I'm not sure why the camera's shaking. Sometimes um, I do shake my legs as I'm doing now, so that's probably why the camera is vibrating like that. I do apologize. <laughs> but um, you're gonna continue doing this for each nail and then you're gonna cure in your LED light. Now I'm going in with the color. Um, if you guys haven't seen a gel overlay, I did do an overlay on these nails. Go ahead and click, click the eye above. Um, my Monday manicures, I do gel overlays. And you can see those steps in those clips. But right now I'm going in with this beautiful red. It is a gorgeous red. Look at that. It's so vibrant. And this is a gel color. It is a pod gel. Um, I am in love with the pod gels, guys. Like, that's one coat. Look at that. One thin layer and it's very opaque. Which means that it's not transparent. You, can, you can't see right through it. It is gorgeous. I do go in with two layers of color. Either way, you do cure both. 30 seconds in the LED light, but I am such a pod girl right now. <laughs> so as that other one is curing, I also work on the other hand. That just helps with time, so you're not just doing nails all day. <laughs> just a pro tip there. And you're gonna apply this to the entire nail bed, making sure you get the side walls and the free edge. Do not get any on the skin. Again, if you do, go ahead and remove that with alcohol and or gel uh, polish remover. So now I'm about to apply that gold glitter. It's also in a pod. So you just see, I just scoop it up on my brush and I just start sparingly applying it and moving it around where I want it. I do pat it down a lot because this is glitter. It's not um, just polish. So <laughs> you do want to pat it down, make sure that nail is going to be smooth. You don't want any lumps and clumps when you're done. Once you have it to your liking and your client's liking, you then, as you can see, she loves it. So we'll go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. LED light and go in with our second color or second coat of color. And it does make it pop. That's why I do the second coat. It's not needed, but you can see the difference. You guys see that? How deep it made that red? Oh, 
love this color and as you guys can see you do not want to put this on your cuticle um, it's just the same as if you was putting it on your skin it can cause an allergic reaction it can actually cause lifting which means you wasted your time doing your manicure it's not something you want to deal with so it's always best to make sure you put it about a what I call a eyelash length, which I know is small, <laughs> between where you start the polish and your actual cuticle. That ensures your manicure will last and it also ensures there won't be any allergic reactions. After I go in with this second coat for both hands, I'm going to then apply the top coat. And you're gonna cure that top coat for 30 seconds as well in the LED light. And then we'll get to my cuticle oil. Now I haven't sold it yet. I know I keep talking about selling my cuticle oil. It does work guys. Um, it's natural nail growth cuticle oil made by me, Leak the Nail Geek. Um, check my website out. And what I'm doing currently, uh, what is what I do before I actually apply my oil. I um, use a cleanser to remove the tacky layer there are no wipe top coats you can use I do have a few um, that I like to use myself so that step is optional depending on the top coat that you actually do use and here's the finished manicure thank you guys for watching this video I truly appreciate your support don't forget to scroll over to the bottom right, click my logo, subscribe to my channel, and let's hit the notification button so you don't miss a video. Follow me on all social media, all things Leak the Nail Geek or at Leak the Nail Geek. Check out my website, leakthenailgeek.com. Thumbs up this video, comment below, and until next time, bye!